I can't hear you. The phone's starting to act crazy. I said, I see a lot has changed since the last time we talked, huh? <laughs> Always, you know, nothing is never the same. It's always all kind of monkey wrenches getting thrown in the mix. But, you know, I always stay positive and just keep it moving. Right. You know what I mean? You can't, right. you know, dwell on stuff all the time. You just got to just be thankful, whether it's challenging or not, and just keep it moving because, you know, tomorrow is another day. <laughs> just right. make it through. You got to keep all right, so let's uh, there's so, so much going on. So let's so so let's go ahead and uh, get this started. Then let's uh, let's uh, bring it back a little bit. All right, so how do you pronounce your name? Haitian, Haitian, Haitian Empress, ha Haitian Empress, Empress. Hey, yes. Wait, was yes, that yes. Was, that wasn't the name that you went by last time? Was it? It's the name I go by all the time. All the time. Haitian <laughs> Empress back in the That's building. It. What's going on That's with you, it. little lady? How you feel today? Well, I'm blessed. I can't complain. I'm six feet above. Yes. I can't complain. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Being above ground on a beautiful day like this is a good day. That is what's up. Yes, everybody, absolutely. Everybody chilling. Everybody working. Everybody got a job. Everybody getting paid. But there's some... There's there has been some cases, you know, a company shut down, and then there's this that's this uh TikToker going around policing drivers. You better be careful. Better be careful. Yeah, I've because... seen about I seen that. I heard about it. Yeah, she she's out there, she's out there recording, she's out there stalking. Better watch yes, it. But it's she not definitely a, is. So you gotta like watch her stuff. It's not about it's not about her, but we'll probably tip on her in a little bit. But it's all about Haitian Empress. <laughs> Back in That's the it. building with your boy, That's the it. lockout That's men. It. So uh Haitian Empress, go ahead and introduce yourself to the people that, that don't know you. And where has your journey gone so far since the last time we talked? Well, since you asked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, um, a little bit about myself. We did an interview a while back. I think it was in, I, it probably was right close to this time last year. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah it that's... was it probably, maybe like around November-ish. Mm. So it's been about a year, I think, maybe. God damn but anyway, it, I, um, I live out in the Connecticut area mm -hmm. in New England. And um, at the time, I was, you know, pursuing my CDL. I did wind up getting my CDL. Yeah. I um, got a whole bunch of kids. I had five. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Hold up. Congratulations <laughs> on getting your uh, CDL. Five yes, kids? Yes, I did finally get it. Five kids? Wait. Then, uh, wait, five you... kids going on six. Oh, God damn, you went to work. Hey, the cable was off. The cable was off. Now I got the dish. <laughs> God damn, is all these kids by the same guy? Nah, 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 nah. I don't got time for that, though. Oh, man, we, we got I'm six. going through a divorce. I got a lot of stuff, but well, at least you know my life ain't boring. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I, I know, you know, everybody step back, everybody. We just playing. She, you know, she's not like that. She not, not the kids. You know, these are the, these are the adopted kids that you're talking about. No, these are these are my biological children. These are my kids. Okay. You know, I start reproducing very early. Right. They rank from age 25, and I have this one coming in February. <sighs> Haitian. <laughs> hey, uh, I was you, you know you you you, you 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 didn't get them tubes tied. What's what's going on? No, nah, I mean, I'm gonna shut it down now because I got all this gray hair <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, you know my back be hurting. <laughs> now I gotta pull out the heating pad, the Bengay. <laughs> now I'm gonna be going through all these changes and shit. So I don't know. Oh, <laughs> it's man. a wrap now. I gotta shut it down. So I gotta this, shut it down. I gotta shut it down. So this is kid number six. This will be baby girl and child number six. Yeah. Haitian, how how is you gonna handle? Being the mom, being the new mom at that, uh, and 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 being a truck driver, how, how you? How well, you... a mom is a mom is always going to be a mom, regardless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of those women. I always make it happen. You know what I'm saying? While I was, you know, dealing with this pregnancy, I was on a truck with um Snyder. 
I just got out of the truck with Snyder December 3rd. Okay. So I was doing all of that trucking stuff. You know, I felt okay. I got the okay for my doctor. You know, my pregnancy wasn't in the way. You know, I was still able to, you know, do my pre-trip stuff. Because, you know, with a company, you got to just do the light pre-trip stuff. So um, I was still able to handle my business. It was a much newer model truck, an automated truck. So I was able to, you know, maneuver everything. Nothing was really too, it wasn't too much. It wasn't strenuous or nothing. Okay, so let's uh, so, let's, let's um, talk about I'll be able it. To you, it. So let's talk about it. So you you did you you went to school to get your CDL, or you went through Snyder to get your CDL? No, I didn't go through Snyder. I actually went through a school here in Connecticut called Allstate. Mm-hmm. They have a popular one called Nets, but I didn't rock with Nets. I wasn't happy with Nets. Allstate was more one on one, so you have one on one with the instructor. Any questions you need to ask, the instructor is there with you. You know what I'm saying? To do um, any, you know, time that you may have or any questions that you may have about the truck, any maneuver that you need to, you know, be baby step through, you have that time. And that was at Allstate. Okay. So Allstate out in Connecticut, what what was the setback for you on that? And how long, how long was it when you completed to get your license? Well, it was, my training was like a couple of months. It wasn't really that long. It was a couple of months because um, the sessions was only for an hour and a half because mm-hmm. um, it goes by appointment. It wasn't that long. And what they also included with the CDL training was that forklift and training. So it was like a combination. So I just breezed through it. I didn't have an issue with anything. And it was fun. Yeah, I, It was fun. All right. What was what was the setback? How How much was it? For the training with yes. the combination, shit, you talking about eleven grand? Eleven grand? Oh, well, you you got comb? Oh, okay. So wait, wait. This wasn't just for your CDL, but you went in for forklift training too. Yeah, it was a combination, but the CDL is in that price range anyway. Nah, it's what? eleven grand up this way. Uh, eleven grand. Eleven grand. Absolutely for the CDL. Well, I'm, 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 and I'm I will figuring, be honest. These schools is milking it. Wait, I'm figuring that eleven grand is for the combo. If nah, you, if you just if, got, if, if you just got price, your, if you just got your CDL by itself, if you would have got your CDL by itself, what was, what was, how much it would have been? Honestly, probably about maybe nine. Jesus Christ. Nine or ten. Jesus, that's Christ. that's the price range up in my area. In my zone in Connecticut, it's like that. Florida, I think it's like five. Texas, I think it's a grand. You know, every state they have their different rules and stuff like that. You got some that want to milk it, and some that just want to see their students succeed. Man, and you know, with so many people out here that's interested in coming into trucking and trying to figure out all sorts of backdoor ways to get into it. Nobody ain't really talking about the actual fee, though. Like, you... you and the crazy thing, lockout man, that you say that, you need to see the equipment. A lot of these training schools, their equipment ain't even up to par. And charging all that money. And they and they charging all of that money. And don't forget, it's per student. You understand what I'm saying? Whether it was through a grant, whether it was out of pocket, whether it was through financial aid, that school is still getting paid that money, and then it, the equipment is not even up to par. Jeez, Mary, man. But remember, you're only going there to just pass the DOT. That's you just training for that. You're just training for the basic just to pass that test. Well, you know, all of this and more is going to change. Well, I, I talked to a trucking a trucking school uh, just recently. They said it wasn't, you know, it's not going to be as much change, but it's going to be a significant change uh, that's coming in, uh, that's coming in February, February 7th, especially. But, um, yes, but yes. Uh, I, I really, uh, you right, know, they had changed some guidelines, right? Yeah. But I, I really believe, yes. I really believe for a uh, trucking school to be charging you that much and, and giving you subpar education, really th- that change really need to come into play because they put in they put in inadequate drivers out here on the road now yeah 
It's crazy, but it, it depends. It's up to the individual. You know what I mean? If that's what you want to do, you gonna handle your business. You gonna grind. You gonna, you know, either like I said, come out of pocket for it or go through a program to pay for it. If that's what you want, if that's where your head is at, and you know what I'm saying, that's your dream. Because people don't understand, lockout man, that trucking is not for everybody. You know what I mean? They just think that oh, you could just get in the trucking industry and bomb. You gonna be making all this money. No, it has to be, you got to know what you're doing. You got to know what you're getting into. Now, you... Even like how you mentioned being a mom, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I knew what I was getting into. I knew what I wanted. I, just, I also grew up in that industry. Now, you, uh, 11 grand, man, that's... <laughs> that's, that's crazy, man. I mean, it I... Is. I, I thought I thought five thousand four hundred and sixty two dollars no, was not that here much. in Connecticut. Not if you do research and, and it's not even that many schools in this little state. I think it's like you got Nets. Nets may have maybe three. They have one in Connecticut. Two, no, two in Connecticut. One in Massachusetts. And then they have um, Allstate, which has two sites for this little state. So Connecticut is a very small state. <sighs> Eleven. All right, so, so did you pay that out of pocket? No, I didn't pay that. For those that was, no, hold on. For those that was, you know, that listened to the first interview that we did, mm -hmm. I had shared how I went to Nets, and I did come out of pocket at that time. Mm -hmm. And this is why I mentioned that I was not satisfied with Nets. Mm -hmm. But when the pandemic was going on, the state of Connecticut, they had got all of this funding. Mm -hmm. So I used that opportunity, you know what I mean, with the pandemic to help me assist and pay for that, um, the training. But no, this go round, I didn't pay for it. Okay, okay, cool. But did you get your money back from Nets, though? Money back from whom? From Nets? Yes. Since you didn't finish I, Of your... course not. Once you, sign, once you sign on the dotted line, it's a wrap. Mm. Man. Once you sign on the dotted line. But see, I'm not one of those ones where I worry about it. You know, where people be like, oh, well, you should have did this. and No, I'm just thankful I got my shit now. Let me keep it moving. Okay. I don't dwell on the past. I don't dwell on what happened yesterday. I'm more of a, like, let's worry about today and tomorrow. All right. So that's what's up. All right. So you got your license. And, yeah. you, and, and you try, you say, hmm. I, I like what Snyder got going on. You did your research a little yes. bit and you jumped on yes. with them to do their uh to do their account that I have you home every weekend, right? No, it was a weekend account. Oh, it was a weekend. They account. had a weekend, yep. They had an account with Home Depot mm -hmm. where it was no touch rate. Um, you know, it was to my liking, you know, like I said, I'm a mom, I got all of these kids. You know, it was flexible for me. I wouldn't have to really worry about child care because it was only on the weekend. It was only Saturday and Sunday. Okay. So, and not only that, I'm not an experienced driver. Mm -hmm. A tractor trailer is not a toy to me. Mm -hmm. You got to know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So I said, you know what? Let me wean into the driving slowly. Let me rock with something on the weekend. Plus, don't forget I'm pregnant. So when I saw the, um, the ad, which was on Indeed, believe it or not, I jumped on it. They had, you know, benefits, all of that good stuff. It was on the weekend. I wouldn't have to worry about no babysitting or nothing like that. I will be gone. And, you know, I will be home every day. All right. So, so you, I did my training. So you, got with the, so you got with the training because, you know, Snyder is like the boot camp. You know, at least that's what yeah. I consider it. <laughs> I, I consider them yeah. the boot camp because they, they really – uh, they really knock they're it, thorough. Knock they're it thorough. Home. You know, they they knock they're, it they're home. very thorough. Mm -hmm. They sent me to um this town called Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Right. And um, it was my first time being out in Carlisle because I used to do a lot of traveling. And I was like, to me, it was like, yo, what is this? Because I'm I'm a city person. Mm -hmm. So when I when I went to Pennsylvania, it was very different. It was very different, but I felt good. I felt happy. You know, as a woman, as a mother. As a black woman, I felt like, yeah, I got this. Because when, when I went, because, you know, they set up everything. They paid for your hotel, your transportation, and all that good stuff. Okay. 
So when I got to the training spot, it was 35 strong. Mm. 35 strong. And believe it, by the time I finished my training, I was only one of four. Woo! See, that's that's how they do it. That's how they wing, they, they wing you out of it. They get you in there, be like 50 plus, and then be like, yo, there's only two of us left. Damn, where but did everybody go? Let me tell you, I felt good, and I'm going to tell you why I felt good. Mm-hmm. When you're looking at the, the, the a group that big, and they can't follow simple-ass instructions, even though you said Snyder's like a boot camp, it's really not if you follow directions. Because a lot of them was getting weaned out because of hair, they was failing hair follow tests, you know, with that drug test stuff. Mm-hmm. The next thing, they had a test where they asked you, Ten questions that they pull out of the um, what is it? The S M C, you know, the trucking Bible, the little green book. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, the, the federal mode, whatever, whatever. They and the answer is in the passage that you're reading. That's right in front of your face. Mm-hmm. They can't answer the question. You know, it's, it's real minor petty stuff. They don't follow that. That's what I'm saying. People want to just jump in the truck, just to jump in the truck, and don't follow the rules of the road. They don't read no signs. Some of them can't even read like that. They just breathing through. Who wonder how they got their CDL. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. That's just me. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's really sad for a group that big and for me to be a female and I'm just one out of four. And that stuff was easy to me. How was uh, now? How was the training with the trainer? Like when you actually went out with the trainer? Uh, <laughs> how was that? <laughs> Let me. You know, I'm not gonna knock my trainer. You, they call them TEs. They call their trainers TEs Tra- with Snyder, and is, I, is had, I had a great TE. Is, is that for? Is that short for trash? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. what the fuck? A <laughs> training engineer. Oh, train, training engineer. Training engineer, <laughs> boy. Yes. Yeah, let's just come up with and, a new. Let's just come trainer, up with a new name. My trainer was very interesting. I love to do it. I had a male that was training me. They didn't have a lot of females. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something. I don't know if anybody out here ever read this book called um, Semi-Queer. Semi-Queer? Semi-Queer, yes. You can find it on Amazon. You can get it at your local library. It's it's a book about the trucking industry and the kind of people that's in this trucking industry and why they're in the trucking industry. Right. And it talks about um, transgenders. It talks about felons. It talks about, you know, African-Americans. It talks about all kind of stuff. It tells you about, you know, what happens at the truck stops. You mm. know, um, it talks about people's sex life. Mm. You know, it talks about a lot. It, it, that book. What, what's the name? Book what's the name of this book? It's <laughs> semi-queer. Semi-queer. Okay, I'm going to add that. Yeah. I'm going to add that. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to check that out. I'm, I'm gonna to have to get the. Uh, I'm gonna to have to get the audio book on that. I'm gonna to have to send my career. I read that book okay. before. Yes, I read that book before. Way before I went out to Snyder. Way before. Mm-hmm. And my PE. I'm not against homo. I'm not against none of that. Stuff. I respect everybody. Right. I don't care what your lifestyle is. If okay. that's you, that's you. Okay. You like it? I love it. Whatever you comfortable. All that's right. what it is. That's what it is. What's up? And my trainer was a male, but he was extremely feminine. I'm talking about rocking his red nail polish. He looked like a um. I was born in '79, so he looked like one of those Kiss rock stars. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> the group Kiss. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and he. He loved perfume, like ladies' perfume. He did not wear cologne. He didn't like no male products. Uh-huh. He wore perfume. Uh-huh. His truck was very flamboyant. Uh-huh. I like that about him because it was like he take care of himself. Because you got some truckers out there, it's like wow. But no, he took care of himself, and you know what? He trained me very well uh-huh. because you know what I'm saying. I respect his lifestyle. And it was and and you know shot you know shout out to 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 Mr. Man, you know for for 
<laughs> doing the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that you, that making sure that you is the truck driver that you is today. All right. So yes. after. So